Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, today is Friday. This thing is a day not to be afraid. Praise God. It doesn't matter what the news is saying. It doesn't matter what you're hearing around you. Listen, 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 listen. You, you, can, you can write this on your doorpost. You know, you can just write, fear not. Write it on your doorpost. Put it somewhere that, that you can see. And you remind yourself, I'm not supposed to be afraid. Why are you not supposed to be afraid? It's very simple. Psalm 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's the question then is, where do you dwell? Oh, I'm dwelling in my house. Ah, 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 ah. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm looking up to Jesus. You know the Lord said to me, he said, look, the way to deal with this coronavirus is simple. Look unto Jesus. Anyone who looks unto Jesus will not be harmed by this disease. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are. If you will call on the name of Jesus and say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you right now. See, it doesn't matter where you are. If you will call on the name of Jesus, the Bible said the name of the Lord is what? Is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are saved. See? So, now, how do I call on the name of Jesus? This is Jesus, Jesus. No, Father, I bring myself under the, the, the name of the Lord. And I dwell there. And I wait for him to instruct me on what to do. See, because he is now my Lord. Now, you see, he is my Lord. And that's why he instructs me on what to do. So everything I want to do from henceforth, I'm considering him. and say, Lord, I'm thinking of doing this. What do you think about it? Now, that's how to walk with him as your Lord. You acknowledge him in everything that you do. See, that's what he, he was saying to us in the book of Exodus chapter 15. He said, if you will hack into his voice and do, he said, none of those diseases, none, none, none. You know, you know, he said in, in Hebrews, I love this. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, that is big. You know what that means? I'm not afraid what's going to come today. One thing I know for sure is that he is with me. And what's he, with, what's he doing with me? He will tell me what to do. Praise God. You know, you know, you know it's so interesting. You know, sometimes my wife and I were making some plans. And, and okay, um, we, we need to do this by this time. I said, okay, fine. And so how are we going to do it? No. Before we get there, the Lord will tell us what to do. And, and, and that settles it. And it has always been so. Just before we get there, the Lord will give us an instruction. See, that's how we acknowledge him in everything that we do. You know what? Let's keep going. When we get there, the Lord will tell us what to do. And he sure tells us what to do. And, and, and that's how we will be living a life devout of any kind of pressure. He always tells us what to do. That's why you cannot be afraid. Listen. It doesn't matter, except you don't belong to him. Now, if you don't belong to him, everything I'm saying right now is rubbish. You'll be wondering, eh, must, must, must you, must you. Hey, 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 you want to leave? Do you want to leave? Jesus is the giver of life. There is no other being. There is no other name that will give you life except Jesus. And that's what Jesus said, I have, I have come that they might have life. See, he said, the thief comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Coronavirus has come to do one thing, kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus has come that he will give you life and gives you that life more abundantly. Now, the question then is, what are you going to do? Are you going to choose Jesus or are you going to choose the coronavirus? Are you going to be afraid of what Jesus has said? Or are you going to be afraid of what coronavirus is saying? When you bring yourself under the mighty hand of God, so that's what he says. See, we humble ourselves under his mighty hand. And he exalts us by giving us health. Praise God. See, health is ours. It's our portion. No sickness can come near my dwelling. See, that's what you should say. 
Why? Because I believe in Jesus Christ. He is Lord over my household. He is Lord over my life. So no sickness can come near my dwelling. And if sickness had found his, its way into your house, what do you do? Cast it out. Say, in the name of Jesus, I command you, get out of my house. See? You speak like that, it will obey you. You know why? Jesus is on your side. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to pray for you now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone listening to me and watching this broadcast right now. That your mighty hand will rest upon them even now. That your hearts will be open to receive revelations from you. And they will rise from that place of revelation and begin to do exploits because they know you. Thank you, Lord. And we release your saving grace and your mercy around the world. And we shut the mouth of this virus that is eating up nations. We shut its mouth now and we command it to live in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. For you protect your children and show mercy to the world. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Have the best weekend ever. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.